We begin with a big day for high school sports and COVID-19. Nationwide, people are watching what happens tonight at Harriman High School. They're hosting the country's first regular season high school football game since our pandemic started. ABC 4's Jared Giacinini is live at Harriman High School with how they plan to welcome fans back into the stadium. So Jared, how's the school feeling about tonight's big game? Well, Brian, behind us, Harriman High School already preparing for tonight's game, posting social distancing guideline signs throughout the stadium. But some school officials we spoke to having mixed emotions about being the first football, high school football game to play in the country. We are sold out with tickets. They sold out rather quickly. For the first high school football game amid the pandemic, Harriman High School will host Davis High in a preseason football game. We've actually been in contact with the association, the health department to ensure everything that we're doing falls within the regulations and guidelines that they've given us. Which includes wearing face masks and maintaining six feet of social distancing. Tickets must be purchased online and for contact tracing, fans must sit in their assigned section. Our crowd's only going to be at 25% capacity, so it looks quite empty. There will also be rules in place to help protect players. Anytime that they're in physical contact, they don't need to wear the mask, but when they don't have that physical contact, they're standing on the sidelines, they do need to put the mask up. They bring their own water bottles. We don't provide that, the water bottles like the Gatorade bottles or the Powerade bottles in the past that everyone was sharing. Contact tracing is important for players too. Keep different players in different groups. So if one player in that group gets sick, it's just that group that's out. The school says it's excited to return to some normalcy. Really working with these kids, it is something important to them. So we're excited to see the kids get out there. head coach of Harriman High School football team, Dustin Pierce. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, COVID is impacting a lot of high schools. Bingham, Weber had to cancel their games because some of the players had COVID. Is contracting the virus a concern for you and your players? I, I believe it's a concern everywhere, you know, but it, the safe thing is to do is take precautions for each program and, and make the right decision if it's, it's safe to play or not. And we mentioned some of those precautions with contact tracing, but what does that conversation look like, you know, pre-game? Um, you know, we go through the, the standard testing of temperature and talking to the kids about symptoms. And not only do we ask them those, are once they go into the training room, they're asked the same questions. So we're taking every precaution we can to make sure that it is a safe atmosphere and safe for our kids to play. And other high schools could be taking lead from you after tonight. Yeah, they, um, I feel like we're all on the same playing field, but you know we're kind of thrown in the fire a little bit, and you know willing to listen and take advice from from people who, who who can give us the best information about it. And I feel like our district and our state has put us in a situation where you know we're handling it correctly. All right, coach. Thank you so much this morning. Thank you. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and all these guidelines are in coordination with the Utah High School Association Activities Association and the state. Reporting live, Jared Jotinini, ABC4 News.